In this lesson of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly use ZBrush to block out your character and then this is where you would take it back into Maya to then go ahead and start modeling from. So if you start modeling in Maya or if you wanted to, let's say, model this base mesh inside of Maya, it may actually take you um, a little while to do this. But in ZBrush, you can do this very, very quickly by using the, the Z Sphere tool. And all we need to do is import an image to the document here. And you can import an image here onto the background. And then we'll just grab our Z Sphere tool and draw it out on the canvas here. And I'm pressing Shift to basically snap it to, well, I mean, there really is no grid here, but we'll say snap it to the grid. And then I'm going to hit T to be able to draw on our mesh, hit Q so we can draw in our Z sphere and hit X so that we can mirror the symmetry here. And I'm just drawing out a couple of Z spheres. And then I'm gonna hit E to to basically scale up the the Z spheres so that we can size this properly. And W is you know basically to move. I'll turn off symmetry here to go ahead and draw the torso. And if you hit shift, it basically brings in another z-sphere z z z the same size as the other one. So we'll go ahead and just rotate this back. And you can see that our geometry is, you know, I don't want to say real dense right now, but it's very close and very similar to the underlying concept art. draw in our elbows here, scale those down just a smidge, and, and basically there you have your your concept for your character, or your base mesh for your character, but if we rotate, you can see that it's somewhat out of shape, so what we need to go, to, go ahead and do is we need to, you know, try and match this concept for the side here, so we'll just go ahead and move this over, and with our symmetry still activated, There you go, you basically have a character base mesh that's very simple and very crude, but this is the general shape of the character. And you can see that how quickly you can go ahead and basically base out your character for exportation back into your primary 3D application to go ahead and model. Um, it would, would be easier to model like this to create your base mesh because if it let's say you know if you start from just creating your base mesh in Maya it may actually take you a while to create that base mesh um, but if you use z-spheres I mean you can do it within five or ten minutes or so and, and then you know quickly start modeling from this um, you know a lot of people would just basically start sculpting on this so that they can create the underlying body and then you know would build their clothes through like something like next or you know 3d coat to basically just trace on top of their their body mesh and then create the clothes that way but typically we wouldn't really need to go ahead and create them um, or go ahead and sculpt the body in order to go ahead and make a model like this simply because of the fact that this isn't really that complex in terms of in terms of shape or in terms of clothing um, so really all we would need to do is just basically go ahead and cut apart 
pieces of this geometry to then go ahead and make the character actually look like this. And like I said earlier, as you can see, using Z-Spheres is pretty much going to give you a an extremely fast way to go ahead and um, make a, a base mesh to go ahead and start creating your character. Um, and I would suggest that, that you learn how to use them and use them properly. Um, they're really not that difficult to use. It's just basically, you know, draw on the mesh and, and basically move it until you have um, a really good base mesh.